Well, he's making strides. Um, first of all, this is this is a first spring for everyone in the room except for Ivory Kelly Martin, who ironically can't participate in this spring. So, for all of them, this is this is a huge uh, huge experience for them to be able to work on their fundamentals uh, and understand the nuances of the offense. But when you talk about Tyler specifically, I'm a firm believer in iron sharpens iron. So all these guys are out there competing. And as Gavin or LeSean or Nolan or when Ivory gets a chance to come back, as those guys get better, which they have day in and day out throughout this spring, they'll continue to push him and make him better and vice versa. As he gets better, he makes them better. So in that regard, I think, you know, iron sharpens iron. Those guys come out here and they come to work and they come com and they come to compete. And the last thing I'll say about that is, from the day one, when I stepped into that meeting room, I told the guys, listen, your job as a player is to make my job very difficult. And what I mean by that is I want you to perform at such a high level in practice that you make it hard for me not to play you. And when we have that type of attitude from everyone in the room, it, it, it will do nothing but push everyone. And that should, that should elevate Tyler's play as well. What's kind of his superlatives as a player? What do you see from him that makes him one of the better ones in the Tyler has vision. Uh, one, he has vision. And then when you have vision, he has the ability to, to put his put action to that vision. Not everyone can do that. Sometimes people can see the move or see the run, but their body doesn't can't make it happen. He has the ability to do both. And I think that's his greatest asset. He has the vision. He has the ability to make the uh, put that put that vision into action.